Yes, yes, yes. What's good? It's your boy Artest, man. Today, I just want to give a shout out to all, all the hoods around the world, of course, in the United States. What's cracking? Shout out to Mr. QB. Shout out to Chalice. Shout out to Foul Monday. Those are my new artists on the cracking. We're going to get it popping real soon. We're looking forward to getting some Grammys. You know, Lil Wayne, he put in mad years. He's about to get like eight, eight Grammys or like 10 Grammys. He nominated for mad Grammys. Shout out to the God. Eminem's back. He got that new song. Popping in the Tahoe. I ain't learned the words yet, but one of my favorite artists, you know, along with Scarface, who been the truest artist since he been in the game, man. Ain't nobody did it like Scarface, man. Honestly, how many, how many cookie cutter songs, how many peanut butter and jelly songs have you heard Scarface make? Everybody who's in the game, who's been doing music, promoting to the radio, all the radio station, all the program directors doing their thing, coming from other states, coming in NY, whether you're from another state, working in Houston, and you're taking, a lot, a lot of people's taking the, the culture of the hip-hop and molding it into something else. Scarface stayed real, man. How many people can say that? If you put all these artist songs together for all the years, people been making music. I mean, you could put the best, um, even Slim Shady, Jay-Z, Nas. Only one you can put in that category of keeping it really, really thorough as far as the music and never, ever really caring about selling records or, or crossing over. Like do it from the fire heartbeat said, once you cross over, you can't come back. Ain't no double crossing, you know what I mean? So Scarface, he kept it so real. He probably could have made hits with all the little uh, pop artists out there. He never did that, man. Shots out to you. And everybody should go support his music, man. If you're a real hip-hop artist, that's one dude you should support, man. The music is real from the heart. And you don't even got to kill everybody in your song just to get your point across, man. Just to know that you're real. It's all good, baby. Shout out to artists and people like that. We need more people to keep it real, you know, and not just to sell records, too. Keep it real for you. Keep it real for the streets, man. I want to give a... um. I kind of want to bury a word, which I ain't got no, I mean, I'm not that relevant in the game to be burying words or making new words, you know what I mean? But I want to bury the word relevant, man. Everybody talking about, you got to be relevant, you got to be this. Man, I, people don't make music to be relevant, man. You know what I mean? I don't make music saying, I want to make this song, and hopefully one day I'll be relevant. And if I'm never relevant, I'm never going to stop. I mean, I'm never going to... Um, I'm, not, I'm never going to uh, do music again. You know what I mean? Like, who cares about being relevant, man? When you're making music as an artist, man, don't listen to none of that, man. I'm not listening to it. And, I mean, I love doing music. But at the end of the day, I'm hoping my artist is going to pop. Ain't nothing going to be given to us. But I'm hoping my artist will pop off. I mean, if 50 would have never said relevant, nobody would even be saying the word, man. Everybody talking about relevant, relevant. Somebody said, Ron well, says you ain't relevant. Who cares, man? Still love making music. And the fan base is growing. I think it went from about 10 last week to 20 this week. So if I could double up every week, if I could have 100 fans by the end of the year and keep doubling up, I'm going to be good money, man. We're going to sell records, man. Shout out to Swisher House. Shout out to Houston, man. You already know what it is. Shout out to my, to my dog, Big Cat, one of the LS DJs in the NY. You already know what it is. Shout out to him and his whole team, too. You already know. Shout out to Slim Shady. Please bring it back. And a lot of people talking about New York. Music is dead. I'm going to talk. I'm going to say two things about that, about NYC and the rappers. The first thing, Corey Guns could bring it back, man. Corey Guns could bring it back. I hope y'all heard me, man. I hope he continue to keep spitting for himself. He's gotten better. I hope he continues. I hope he continues to keep popping. He's one of the illest artists out there. I heard you on the Millie track. That was hot. I wish they would have released that and put you and Lil Wayne in the video. That would have been crazy. He probably one of the illest artists out of NY right now to me. You know, uh, this Freestyles Bananas joint he did with Freeway was Bananas. Of course, you got Jadakiss, Styles P. They keep a gully. 
Shout out to Styles P and Jada for keeping it gully. I need that. We need that feeling every now and then. And you know what? If you want to hear some real music and you're getting tired of buying all the new garbage that's out, not garbage, but the, the different stuff that's out, you know what I mean? Go get the old Wu-Ting, man. Go get Bill for only uh, Cuban links, man. That's what I did, man. I had to go back and get the Wu-Ting joints because I got tired of listening to what's on the radio all the time. You know what I mean? Like, So I had to get, matter of fact, Think Differently Music. That's an album Dre the Cougar brought out. If you want to get that old hip-hop feeling back, go get Think Differently Music, man. That's an album. Yes, it's called Think Differently Music. Uh, um, produced and I guess executive produced by Dreddy Cougar from the Wu. Go get the old Wu albums. Go get the old Bill for Cuban Links if you want to hear some hard gutter joint from Ray from Raekwon. If you want to hear some straight hip hop joint, go get um you can get Juice joint from Chicago. Um, he, the album he came out with in 1999. I think it's called J U I C E Juice. Um, he's one of the illest artists even right now. One of the illest artists you never heard. You can get R.A. the Rugged Man. All these is on iTunes. Support them dudes. R.A. the Rugged Man. You know, big white dude from Brooklyn. He holds it down. Crazy with the lyrics. Straight hip hop. You know, if you want to hear that real hip hop. And if you want to hear the modern day uh, hip hop and everything, um, I guess you can get, um, uh, you know, in the albums they got out today. There's still a couple people putting out that real and believing. Your boy appreciate it. Um, I think um the issue people got with some of the some of the artists now these days, you get accustomed to how they came into the game. You know? So if I get accustomed to how Kanye came into the game and he did us a favor by putting Jesus walks in the club, because although I be out doing my thing, playing ball, I'm hypocritical at times, I'm not perfect, I'm a sin, I always need forgiveness from from God. How do you play a song about Jesus in the club? And for him to play that song, for him to make that song and say, yo, this is my single. And for the DJs to support it, I respect that, man. I respect that. So when you got a guy like that making music like that, straight, that was straight hip hop. And then the whole, everything changed from his music to his, to the way he dresses. So now it's like, yo, what is this like? I never would have thought this in a million years that he would have changed, you know, so drastically. But maybe he's been wanting to do this for a long time. So you got to respect that. Now that opens a lane for other artists, man. Everybody getting upset. Yo, man, the game is messed up. Especially the rappers that's getting upset. You got to do something about it, man. You know what I mean? Um, Shady did the same thing a little bit. He came out with the first two crazy albums. Those are my favorite albums. He went off to do the deep end with Superman a little bit. Some people like it, but... Um, hopefully he comes back and bring that hard, hard, you know what I mean? And um, I would say no homo, but man, if you ain't a homo, you ain't got to say no homo, man. Freak that, freak that pause, man. You know what it is, man. You getting buns, you ain't got to be saying no homo, man. Don't, don't let nobody be, have to tell you you got to say no homo and pause. Anyway, um, I mean, if you want to hear some real, you get the Bumpy album. You know what I mean? That's that's, that's real hard, you know? The Blue Carpet Treatment, Snoop Dogg. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, like I said, people get accustomed to artists, and they expect, especially if you're a hardcore street dude, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, listen, I'm not talking about fans that like all type of varieties of music. I'm talking about hip-hop, hardcore fans, you know what I mean, that constantly want that hip-hop. And be reminded, they're going to download it, because the hardcore hip-hop fans don't have that much money like the, like the big commercial fans, so you can understand why. People change, you know. You can understand why people want to, you know, um, please like the rock crowd, the pop crowd, because they're going to buy the records. We all understand that. But you need people like when Prodigy H and I C two came out. That's not going to get a lick of MTV time. You know what I mean? But it's going to still fill that emptiness that's inside of us street dudes. You know, when you need to hear that gutter. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just need to hear that. That's why I respect. If you look, everybody was kind of hating on Mike Jones. But how you going to hate on him when he gave us, even when he came out with Back Then? You know what I mean? That beat was hard. And if you go back and listen to that beat, and then listen to another rapper who tried to please the people and compare the two beats. I mean, that Back Then beat is a beat you're not supposed to pick, man. If you want to 
you know, get it popping across the globe. You're supposed to say, oh, I need an R&B beat. I need somebody singing on the hook. But this dude straight up kept it hood. Or, and whoever picked that, T. Ferris picked the beat, kept it hood. You know what I mean? So, um, that's hard, man. We need more people like that. Just, just keep feeding the streets, man. I know you got to make money. I know that. And you got to, you know, please everybody. It's understandable. You know, I'm a performer on the court. I try to please the fans at times. You know, uh, maybe give the fans a five and go out of my element of just staying and totally focus on the game. Um, you know, interact with the fans. Um, so I understand that as an artist. But man, if you can, if you can, if you're capable, please keep feeding the streets, man. I need it. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm empty. A lot of people in the game is empty, and I ain't gonna front, man. I had a song on my album. It was called Fever. I came out my first album. I ain't do well at all. So, so 343 copies first week. I don't know, maybe 2,000 or 5,000 records for the year. I can't remember. You know, it was fun making an album. But I came out with a record. It was called Fever. I'm trying to please all the people. You know what I mean? I'm trying to say, all right, what record I can come out with that I can sell the most amount of records or I can make the most impact? So I heard the song Crazy in Love and Jay-Z and Beyonce. So I said, all right, I got to make a song like that. Maybe I can get it popping. So I'm trying to please other people rather than making music for myself. So it can work against you. It can work for you. You know what I mean? But right now, shout out to my boy Havoc, man. Right now, I'm on that ground ground right now. You know, uh, not necessarily trying to, you know, keep it real or, 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 or be somebody I'm not. But I really, on uh, this next project I'm putting out, you know what I mean? I want to hopefully stay, as, well, I'm going to stay as true as possible um, to myself. Still have fun. Hopefully people like the album. If you don't get it, it's all good. Get my artist album though. Get my artist mixtape. One last thing. You know what I mean? Got the drama mixtape out right now. Shout out to DJ Drama, Worldwide Warriors. You already know what it is. We blogging. Hip hop game. What's cracking? It's all good. Boy Artest. God bless everybody, man. We out.